All praise is due to Allah to whom belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. And all praise is for him in the hereafter. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household and companions. My name is Muhammad Abdullah Abdul Qadir. I'm a student of Esteem Learning Center, and I'm here to briefly talk about the life of Muawiyah bin Abu Sufyan radiallahu anhuma. Muawiyah was born in Mecca to Abu Sufyan bin Harb and Hind bin Utbah. Five years before the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received his first revelation. Muawiyah was from the tribe of Banu Umayyah. His father was a rich, respected, prominent, and wealthy merchant of Mecca. He had a sister called Umm Habiba bint Abu Sufyan radiallahu anhuma, who got married to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which makes him the brother-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muawiyah accepted Islam in the year of the Treaty of, of Hudaybiyah, which was six years after Hijrah. However, he kept his Islam a secret. His, he kept his acceptance of the Islamic religion a secret from his family. When Mecca was conquered, his whole family accepted Islam. Thus, he made he also made Islam his Islam public, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam welcomed him. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam loved Muawiyah very much. He used to pray to Allah to guide him, make him a guide who is rightly guided guide others by him, endow him with the knowledge of the Holy Quran, and also to grant him leadership of the Arabian lands. Muawiyah radiallahu anhu also took part in holy wars. In the 15th year after Hijrah, Umar, Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu anhu, who was the caliph of the Muslim nation at that time, wrote to Muawiyah instructing him to take over the city of Caesarea and also to govern it. Following Umar's orders, Muawiyah besieged the city of Caesarea and the two parties began to fight. Allah granted the Muslims victory over them. Muawiyah radiallahu anhu also took part in many more battles after those, most of which he, he was victorious in. Muawiyah was also the first king in Islam. He was known for his generosity, just leadership, humility, nobility, and many other good morals. Muawiyah ruled for nearly 20 years. During that long reign, during that long reign, peace and prosperity was known as a rule at home. Abroad, his rule was equally successful, and he and he was successful in extending the boundaries of the the Islamic territories. I hope this brief story will inspire you to form a relationship with our pious predecessors and to also commit their lives sincerely to their mission, which is which is adherence to the book of Allah and the way shown, for, and the way shown to us by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ramadan Mubarak.